Today we are doing an English live stream. It will be the first English live stream. I hope you can understand everything I tell you. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments. I will save this so you can check it out later if you don't have time now. Um, and we will start with the lashes. Um, I have all the links for you. I will just put them in if I can. In the description when I save it. So and now we start with the lashes first. I've showed this in German a lot of times and now I'll show you in English. These are my lashes. You can get them at Amazon Germany and you can get them at Wishnow worldwide. So I'm happy I found them and can put you the link in later. They are um, they have one long piece and for every eye two small pieces with small magnets on the sides and we'll apply them now. So I take the right eye lash in my left hand and the little piece I put on the bottom in my right hand and then I go from the top to my lashes and then from under I put a small thing My internet connection is not good, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll go from the top and then from the bottom and the little magnets will hold. And this was the first and now we'll do the inner corner. I'm shaking because I'm talking in English and English is not my mother language, it's not easy for me. Hello to South Africa, I hope you're all fine. I heard about the bad news last week, the week before. <coughs> So, and now we'll do the inner corner. I put the long lash right at the um, inner lash line. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so sorry. I can't find the right words. And then I go with the inner corner piece from under and it clips together. Okay. Um, it's not easy when you do it the first time. You have to practice it a little and it will get easier from time to time. Um, they they have different sizes of the lashes too. These are a little shorter. These are the longest I have. I don't wear them during the day. Thank you. Um, I just wear them for videos or special occasions. And you have to be careful. It just holds on your lashes, not on your skin. It shouldn't stay on your skin. When it stays on your skin, just pull a little and it will hold only to your lashes. And Carolina, du verstehst kein Wort. Es gibt das gleiche auch in Deutsch. Ich mach's heute für alle, die Englisch sprechen. Okay, I just told the Germans that I'm doing it in English today and there's the same video in German from last week or the, uh, the week before. So, and now we'll do the left side. Take the long piece in my left hand now and the inner corner piece on my right hand and I go from the top on my lashes and from the bottom and the little magnets will just fall together, clip together. And I have practiced it a lot of times um, because I started using them I think in 2018 or 19 and since then I stick to them, I um, I order new ones when I lose them, for example, because the small pieces sometimes fall into my heater, which is right here under my phone. And then it gets stuck to it because the heater is magnetic too and yeah, then they gone. So this was how I apply my lashes. If you have any questions, I will do it again you can ask me I can help you maybe and now we'll do the braiding so I did the French braid and the Dutch braid last time the brand it's not a, a specific brand it's just um, it looks like this magnetic eyelashes one case two pairs is the only thing that's written on the boxes um, and you can get them at which I will put in the link later I can't put it in now I don't know why um, you can get them at Wish. I've also found them on Amazon Germany, but not at Amazon USA or Amazon France. Um, 
I don't know why, but um, I'll put on put in the link for Wish later. And Wish, um, I think they sell worldwide. Okay, we'll do now the Dutch braid on the front. Uh, take about two or three centimeter. You can also take a little more. And then put away all the other hair so it doesn't get in the way. So, um, looking for another hair clip. I love to use the clips that have this um, rubber band inside because they don't slip. These are from Bio Ionic, but I think you can find them from any brand. And I always braid from the from the right to the left side because that's easier for me. Um, you can try if maybe it's easier for you to braid in the other direction, but for me it's this. And then I start with three, with one strand which I put in three parts. And I tuck them under the middle one. So I first start with the um, outer one and put it under the middle. Then the bottom one under the middle one. And after I did this, I start adding hair. So I took take the upper one under the middle and I add some hair. Then the lower one, bring it under the middle one and then add some hair the um if you if you add a big part it will not look as good as if you just add some tiny strands a little hair i hope you understand me then again the upper one and some hair and the lower one and we'll add some hair the upper one and add some hair and the lower one and we add some hair. If you have any questions, now it's the right time because this is just the same again and again. Ah, if your hair is not as um, thick as mine, if you have problems that the braid won't stay in the place, you can start with the unlimited from Goldwell. I hope you can you can get this everywhere. I don't know. Um, it's a spray wax which will help you to have the baby hair in the braid and you can also use a um, volume powder. This is cornstarch which I filled in this puff me bottle but puff me is also good if you have thin and fine hair. It will also help you that the braid stays in place. I put in the links or the product names um, later in the description. And basically this is it. You just I'm sorry for my bad connection. I don't know why. Okay, maybe my my Wi-Fi is not good. So and I do that the same again and again until I reach the the back and then you can open it a little bit. For this I would recommend using a little volume powder. To make sure it won't open up all and then you pull on the sides but you have to gently pull because if otherwise you will open up the whole braid and have to do it again and this is just to make it appear bigger you don't have to do it if you like the braid small I like it big so I pull and pull and pull mostly as much as I can and then I'll finish the braid. Um, my hair is finished here now because of the undercut. If you have more hair, you can keep on braiding. I have to use a clip now. And I like to use these pearl clips. I'll clip it in and pull again here to make the braid look the same size all over. And then I use some hairspray to um, fix it. But now, as I want to show you more styles, I will not I will not use hairspray. <laughs> and open the other hair and bring them over. 
so this is one kind of hairstyles i like you can now decide if you want your part here like normally i have it so this is the first style i will save it yes and um, there's the same video in german for alle die deutsch sprechen es gibt es auch noch auf deutsch um, genau so if you have a question for this style you can ask me now and if not we will do the next style okay it's very late Okay, here in Germany it's very early, it's um, 9 in the morning and my kids are at school now. So this is the only time at the moment I can do the live. Um, as people from all over the world are following, um, I don't know which is the right time for everyone. I'll try to do it um, later in Germany, maybe in 12 hours. The next time maybe that's better for you. It's 8 a.m. in the UK. Okay. I know no time will be no time will be the right time for everyone, so we'll just have to do it again and again. Okay. This was the 3:11 p.m. at at Kina. Wow. Meine Ohrringe sind von meiner Freundin Makrame Konamore, die verlinke ich nachher auch. Ähm, die macht die selbst. Nicht sorry. No, it's all fine. You don't have to be sorry. Okay, we'll do the next braid now and we'll start at the... I can't remember which I did last time in the German stream. I will just um, do what I think. It was the, the French braid which I started in the back, I think, and we'll do that now. So I also start with a big piece, now with a bigger piece because I will braid all and I put it in three. And then I'll bring it over the middle one. The lower one over the middle one. And then the outer one over the middle. And once you did you did bring all of them over the middle one time, you start adding hair. So you bring the under one over the middle and add some new hair. Then the upper one over the middle and you add some new hair. Try to add as small pieces as you can to make the braid look thin and um, gleichmäßig. I don't know the English word for gleichmäßig, so it looks the same on every place. Okay, and you just keep on doing this. Bring the, the lower one over the middle, add some tiny strand of new hair and bring the upper one over the middle and add some new hair. Hello to Mexico. Even, to make it look even, thank you. And then the lower one over the middle and add some new hair. And the upper one over the middle and add some new hair. Of course, you won't um, you, you won't be able to do this at the first time when you on the first try. I um, practiced this for years. I started braiding when I was 16 and I did my mom's hair I think since I was a little kid. So um, yes, I have a lot of practice. And as you see, I do this every day for you. So um, if you practice something every day, I think you can manage to do all. Hi, Turkey. Turkey. Evenly, evenly. Vielen Dank. Mann, ihr lernt mir auch noch Englisch heute. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me English. This just takes a while when I do my videos, you know, I do it um, in a fast forward so you don't have to watch an hour video. Warum kannst du das nicht machen, Sera, Sera Potstro? I like it in Spain. I'm so sorry, I will, um, honestly, I will ask my friend, Lydia, Macrame con Amore, she did my earrings and she can speak Spanish, so I will try to convince her to, um, Help me do this video in Spanish too. Maybe she can translate for me. Okay, this just takes a while to do it. Um, but you always do the same. You bring the lower one over the middle, add some new hair. And the upper one over the middle and add some hair. When I see your hairstyle, I really want my hair cut. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> but I like short hair. I, I think I'll never have long hair again. I will try that in Spanish. I will ask her. Maybe you can all you can all follow Macrame con Amore. I will put in the link later and you can tell her to help me translate this video in Spanish so we can do a Spanish live stream too. So and if you add tiny strands of hair it will look um evenly and fine and thin. Ich bin nicht so begabt. Uh, you have just have to have to practice. If you practice something a lot of times, you can learn everything, I think. I think, really, I think you can learn everything if you just practice a lot of times. So, and then when you when you think you want to stop here because here my undercut starts, you can put in a hair clip. I have these two pearl clips in different sizes and I really, really like them. That's why I use them most of the times. And then you're done. If you practice it and if you um, yeah, if you can learn it, um, it's really a cool style. I like it a lot in summer, so I don't get a sweaty forehead. Practice makes it perfect. Yes, exactly. And then I will um, I would use some hairspray to fix it all because if you have short hair, you know this hair will fall out um, if I don't fix it with hairspray. I use the L'Oreal El Net, but I also love the Schwarzkopf um, because it's a strong hold, a really strong hold and I also have the hold me from Design Me Hair which um, which will hold forever, hold me. It, um, you can um, wait, you can adjust it. I will show you. This one, it's the hold me from Design Me Hair and you can make it on light or middle and strong hold. This is really cool. And I like the color. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> I have short hair, but I don't look as good as you. I tried to braid my hair, but it doesn't look good. Maybe you just um, haven't found the right um, braid direction. Maybe, I'm sure there are styles which um, look good on you. If you want, you can send me a picture and I'll recommend a style for you. Okay, we'll open this up. And maybe we can do another style. If you have something you want to see, let me know. Sieh da, ich vermisse dich auch. Ich habe gesehen, du warst auf der Hochzeit. Dankeschön. Okay, if there are no questions and... Um, Nothing you want to see. I'll just have to think what I'll show you now. So wait a minute. Maybe. Maybe someone comes in with any style you want to see. My hair color. Thank you. It's um, made from my hairdresser. It's Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf Chroma ID. And um, it's a hair color they can mix for you at a salon. You can go... Um, to any Schwarzkopf salon, I think, or salon that uses Schwarzkopf and they will mix it for you. I have this pink here, which I use. And honestly, every time I go to my hairdresser, um, I ask her to mix me some colors. She just mixes whatever she likes. And I like it most of the time. And it's with a bonding, so um, it doesn't... Um, it doesn't make the hair. Wie sage ich das? It doesn't um, braid straight to the back, like forehead to the back. I'll show that now. Okay, thank you. Um, this is with a bonding and it's like a conditioner. Um, it's not like a normal color. It's just like a colored conditioner which wash out. I hope that was a good explanation. I'll learn English here. Two strand twist. No damage, thank you. It won't damage your hair. Okay, two strand twist and then the braid from the front to the back, if you have time. The twist, um, I will show the twist just on my normal hair. If your hair is sticking out like this, use the Gold Girl Unlimiter. It's a spray box, I told you before. And it will help you to get the baby hair back to the head. 
okay so and we twist two strands i go with my index finger with my index finger under a strand come up here and grab the hair just the hair from the top and then i hold the hair which <coughs> I, I change my hands. Okay, I'll take this hair now and bring it over and put it on my scalp and go with my index finger again under. Grab this hair and change. Go under, grab this hair and bring it over. Go under, grab this and bring it over. Go under, grab this and bring it over go under grab it and bring it over go under but that's not a real twist twist that's just um oh i don't know the english words i'm so sorry but this is how i do this and the twist would be a twist where i twist the hair inside um I twist the two strands and I twist them around each other. So it's a real twist. And I mostly, I like to do it here um, on the front. So I take, at the same as I did now, I take one strand, grab the other, and then I twist these two strands around each other. And by twisting, I grab some new hair, change. And again, I twist the hair, I twist the upper hair too. And grab some new hair and again I twist the strands grab new hair and change the hands twist grab new hair and change the hands twist grab new hair and change the hands <coughs> twist grab new hair and change twist grab new hair and change the hands twist grab new hair and change the hands and then I pull on the hair to make the twist look bigger. This is also a hairstyle which I would um, always use some dry shampoo. A powder, it's important to use a powder else your hair will stick together and you won't be able to pull it out and make it look nice and evenly. Pull a little bit. So. And if you have hair inside which don't belong there, just pull it out. So. And on this style too, I um, mostly use the pearl clip to close it. This is the twist I like the most. But that's also something you have to practice a lot of times I think and it won't hold on it won't look the same and it won't hold on every hair if you have fine and thin hair maybe this just won't work on your hair it's always um, it's always the thing of the hair your hair decides if it will hold or not okay and then you wanted to see the braid from the back to the uh, from the front to the back I don't know if you want to see the two French braids or something else um, I think it's the, the, the thing you have to know is when you braid from the front to the back on the somewhere on the middle, I always um, go with both hands up. If I braid on the side, I go with my hands from the side. Okay, we'll start <coughs> with a side braid. So I can show you this. <coughs> We want to have it look good later so this comb um, is a tangle teaser back comb you can find it on the internet um, yeah so and now as I as it's on the side I braid from the side you want to see a Dutch braid or a French braid we will do the French braid now I take three strands and bring them over the middle this is what we call the french braid i know that um, in other countries you don't call it french braid um, 
Yep. And I do the same as I did before. I just bring the upper one over the middle, add some new hair, and then the lower one over the middle and add some new hair. As smaller as your braid um, shall be, the smaller strands you add. Okay, the lower one over the middle and the upper one over the middle and always add some new hair. Okay, I have to look um, over the over my phone because I have the mirror there. So and this just simple and easy for me as I practiced it a lot of times. This is how I would do it um, on my head. I like it when it stops on the, on the top of my bone here. I bring in a bobby pin and I use the, this side on my scalp. And bring it in from the back to the front. So it's hidden under the braid. Okay, it sticks out a bit. I would fix this now if I would go outside like this, but as we want to do another style now, um, I'll just open it again. This was the braid from the front to the back and now we'll do it in the middle. Or we'll do the two French braids with the middle part. Part it your hair in the middle. And I will part it here too, so I can show you now how I do it when I braid in the middle of my head. And um, it's not as easy as if you braid on the side because you have to have both hands up for a long time. Um, it's like a training. You don't have to train your arms again ever if you braid on top of your head every day. Take the a small part from the front and put it in three. You can also use the Goldwell Unlimited spray box to get all the baby hair, if you have baby hair here, in the braid. Part it in three. And we do the Dutch braid now, so we bring it under the middle one and also the other one under the middle. And if you did this, you start adding hair from the left and you add hair from the right. I add hair while I grab this strand and I go under, take the left strand and bring new hair in. It's not so easy to braid, concentrate on the braiding and concentrate on talking, talking in English. Whew. And this basically, it's just what I do. I add new hair to every strand whenever I bring it under the middle one. Under the middle one. And under the middle. And it's, it's important to spend the most of the time you have to spend by um, parting your hair and comb it before and under um, Vorbereitung. Was heißt Vorbereitung? Wer kann mir helfen? I have keine Ahnung. You have to you have to prepare. You have to prepare your hair um, at the beginning. This is the most important. If you don't prepare your hair, if you haven't combed it, if you haven't used any products, it will be it will be not as easy as if you prepare your hair before you start. Okay, and this is how I braid from the front to the back in a Dutch braid. And this I close now with a small elastic. Usually um. Usually I have some smaller elastics from DM, DM uh, it's a shop in Germany, but now I have to use the big ones as the other ones were um, are gone. I don't know, I think Sarah played with them. Okay, this is how I braid from the front to the back. I would do um, some more now. Um, yep, maybe another one on the side use my I, I really like this comb you see me using it a lot of times it's just perfect to straighten my hair it's perfect to 
um, part the hair. Yep, it's from Amazon, I think for 11 euro. So it's good. So just part your hair again. Try to make it the same size as on the other side. And then use a clip to bring the other hair out of the way. As I said, I like using the ones with the rubber band because they don't slip on your hair. They make it easier for you. And again, I use the Goldwell spray wax and take a small piece into three and start by bringing the outer one under the middle one and the other one also under the middle one. And then you start adding hair from the left and the right. Always when you bring it under the middle, you add some new hair. Bring it under the middle and add some new hair. If you have any questions, um, you can ask me now or write them in the comments later when I save this as an IGTV. I really hope you understand me and um, thank you. Danke an alle Deutsche, die mir geholfen haben zum Übersetzen. So. And um, always remember practice, practice, practice makes it perfect. And now when I reach the same, same place as I have um, braided to on the other side, I close it with an elastic and we have braided two little Dutch braids from the top front to the back. And of course you could, you could braid the other ones too. Also a cool style for summer. <coughs> Maybe I'll do that on holiday. I don't know if I told you we are going to the Canary Islands. Hopefully. Yep. So, and if there are no questions now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for uh, supporting me. I saw someone supported me and um, thank you. I will send you messages later. And then that was it. Um, yep. I'll save it. You can rewatch this again and again as long as you want to. Um, thank you for watching me. Have a great day and see you next time. How can I close it? Oh. <laughs>